to is the middle class, uh, ages 6 through 10 specifically, I believe. Uh, we learned about uh, three different things, obeying, uh, telling, God's, telling about God's word, and also uh, leading. Uh, these kids were a lot of fun. Uh, they're always full of energy, just like Jimmy's class was. King uh, Xerxes. they constantly just wanted to be on their feet, and they tired us out. But it was a lot of fun. It was a blessing experience for us, definitely, and hopefully for everybody in our class as well. So Watch out for them Spartan men. The story of Esther, uh, Queen Esther, um, and uh, that's what our skates are going to do. Where's mine? Okay, guys, you have to be in there, okay? If we got King Xerxes, we got the uh, Spartans, 300 men. <laughs> Tonight, we dine in hell. My favorite line is, only Spartan women give birth to real men. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Serious? King Xerxes, who, who ruled an enormous empire ranging from India to Ethiopia, held a huge feast for all the nobles, lords, and common people of his empire. Bring the queen to me. The king needs you. Dear wife, I have arranged a grand feast at the palace, and I would like you to be introduced to the lords. I shall not attend your feast, nor do I have any interest in your lords. The king waits at the feast to find out whether his wife was indeed speaking the truth. She did not attend the feast and thus defied the king's commands. How dare she defy my words? She is no longer to be known as my wife. I hereby smite her out of my life and thus the palace. <laughs> the king divorces his wife due to the disrespect she showed him. My lord, she who defied you not only let down your commands, but of your peoples too. Now every wife would defy her husband and despise him. Your majesty, it would be in thy best interest to look for a new bride. So the king, according to his advisor's words, and because of his spite to his first queen, agreed to marry again. Hearing the king's decision to get married, Mordecai, a citizen, offered that his cousin is of good age and is willing to marry the king. Your Majesty, I have heard your interest in marriage, and I would like to inform you that my cousin Esther is of perfect age with you and is willing to marry me. Yes. I find thee fair and apt to be my <laughs> I hereby appoint thee seven maidens to thee and assign the finest place for your quarters. After he leaves, Mordecai takes Esther aside and tells her, By no reason should the king know about our kindred or fellow people. And the king loved Esther above everybody else, and she received grace and favor from him, who placed the crown upon her head proclaimed her as queen. Mordecai made it a habit to sit by the king's gates. One day, he hears two of the king's servants plotting against the king. Yes, the king should be dead before the sun rises tomorrow. Yes, I will make arrangements for his drink to be tampered with. Good luck! <laughs>
My Lord, I have noticed that you that there are a lot of people dispersed among your citizens, doing nothing but draining all your wealth. May I receive orders to kill them all. I am pleased with your sense of duty, Haman. I hereby command you to do as you wish. His, his Grace Haman has ordered all Jews to surrender their wealth to the king. You will all be killed, young and old, male and female, without mercy. You have been forewarned. Esther, the fate of your people are in your hands. Go to the king and appeal to him that your kids are going to be killed without mercy. I will, my dear cousin, but please do pray for me. Esther goes into the king's chambers. The king is in a good mood and asks her if she wants anything at all. My lord, I would be grateful if you came with Haman to a banquet that I have prepared. Of course, I will, dear. Get a set of gallows, 50 cubits high, ready. I will hang the Jew Mordecai on it. Come on! We need to go to Esther's quarters for a banquet you prepared. Come now. Yes, my lord. Esther, is there anything at all I can do for you? Anything at all? It is the wicked Haman, my lord. <laughs> what? Then I ordered him to be hanged. His properties will be given to your people, and all his people will be killed. And thus the Jews were given equal treatments as that of the other citizens, all thanks to Esther. Okay. <laughs>